Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the Cargo Hub. We are back in the Cargo... Transport Fever 2. That's what we're back in. Oh, yeah. So, we're sitting here at a crossroads with a bunch of trucks doing truck stuffs. The uh, reason I'm showing you this is because I was actually watching a few videos on Transport Fever... That one's missing, like, its wheels. Anyway... Um, I was watching a few videos on Transport Fever 2, and one thing that I had done at the beginning was is that I started by only putting in, like, four to six trucks per line, and I realized that I needed to revisit that and put in more trucks per line. So that's what I did. We have a ton of... <laughs> a ton of vehicles just roaming about the map now. Um, I can't even tell you how many tr trucks we have. A bunch of them. We have literally 176 road vehicles, I think. So what I did was is that I went through and sometimes doubled or tripled the amount of trucks that I had. And that was like Victorville Trans, like we're taking oil here. And we can see that we're, we're like just some items are lost. So what I did was I came in and I doubled the amount of trucks. I could have probably tripled the amount of trucks on here and still made money on it. So that's what I did. And I did that on a bunch of all the, all the lines. Um, I haven't done anything on the train line it's still doing the normal stuff over here i haven't messed with anything else other than doing that so that has allowed us to gain copious amounts of casholas over there so we can check our line balance and this is the, one of the new lines anyway um new line i don't know there's the other line right there so you can see that we are making a lot of money now that I actually gave the lines the amount of trucks that they needed. So let's look over here at, for instance, this. So we have 47 there, and we have 49 there, and we have none there. So that line is good, I think, with that short distance, but like over here... What we need to do with this line is come here, manage vehicles, and let's clone four of those. So we'll have eight go in there, and then we're going to do the same over here. So we're going to manage vehicles, click that, and then click the squares to clone the vehicles. And we will get eight per line. So I probably could almost go 12. Hopefully, they're all going to come out of that. Oh, yeah. There they are. Look at them. Would you look at that? This guy's probably... One of these guys is not like the others. Oh, it's this guy. So what brings us to that is that we now need to start building our cargo hub. I was thinking con. We need to start building our cargo hub. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to put a station, find a flat spot in here. We're going to put a station in, and then we're going to take that station and run it across the river and through the woods to grandmother's house, and then up here into Corona where we're going to drop off all that stuff. So... That is the game plan for the day here in the cargo hub. Let's find a relatively flat spot. And again, let's uh, let's use the tools that are in the game. Like, I don't know, this button here. So, I don't want it too far away, but it looks like maybe in here-ish? 
Actually, I, I think I'm going to put it right here because that way I can truck in this stuff to here. Truck in all this to here and truck in all this to here. Be just right in here. So yes, right in here. So the eventuality is that all of these things, instead of going straight to the construction materials plant, what they would do is everything would come in, all the stone would come into the Toledo Quarry, or I'm sorry, the cargo hub that station that's going to live right here. And then from that cargo hub station, I mean, we'll have a truck line that runs from the cargo hub station to the CONMAT plant. But what will happen is, is that like a lot of these things will say, you know, consumers, you can see that all these places can be consumers of the Toledo stone, the Toledo quarry number two stone. And so by taking all of that stone to just the cargo hub station, the game's smart enough to figure out that, hey, 10% goes to Huntsville, 20% goes to Oceanside, and the other 70% goes to the Toledo construction materials plant. So then the big trucks will take that to the main cargo hub station. And from the main cargo hub station, the train that goes to Toledo will take all the stuff to Toledo. The train that goes to Huntsville will take all the stuff that goes to Huntsville. So that's the, that's the whole idea of it. So like we would have a cargo hub station here, probably a cargo hub station up here. Um, cargo hub station here, you know, at various points around the map to allow us to get goods to one place or another quicker. But I mean, we're also taking them to a main central point. So hopefully, and the eventuality is, is that we hope that we're going to make money off of all that. So I mean, said all those words and all that junk and stuff. I think what we need to do now is figure out our um, our stuff here. So I did add in some tracks. So a, a few different things. I tried to add in some, some different tracks to see what they look like. Because I was thinking about, I don't know, like I was like, okay, so miles per hour of stuff. Um, I can use the standard track, which I may just start use standard track in this and use the other. Yeah, anyway, so I think I'm going to use standard track for right now, but I did add in some building stuff, which I'm not sure if I like or not. Um, mm, this might be a broken mod. All right, so it looks like I'll be taking out a couple mods. <laughs> I'll be taking out a couple mods. So let's, uh, before I do anything, let's save. Let's take out those couple mods and then come back in. All right, we're back. We've removed those mods. Let's see what it looks like now. Okay, yes, this is what we want. So I definitely, yeah, those were definitely not what I wanted to go with. I also did add in some path signals that are the American-flavored ones so we may use those um checking out some of the other i added in just some other things which were mostly just like some asset stuff that i added in like some sign assets so anyways let's get into building this cargo station so we have 3.3 million dollars and i think the first thing we need to do is find us a good I think I'm going to spin this around, too. Because our road is on the other side. Looks like this might be the... F Ooh, there is a 72. 71. Like, right here. So what I'm going to start off with is... Just starting off, oh, I moved my mouse. Uh, anyway, so I'm going to start off with kind of like a small car, just with this one is what basically what I'm saying. We're starting off with this cargo station for right now, uh, and we're going to build that up. So we're going to configure this, and because I'm, I'm going to add in two tracks. 
Because our trains aren't going to be big enough to to need more than that right now. But in the future, in the future, we shall have larger stations. Is that what I wanted? I actually wanted that. I wanted that guy and that guy. That's what I wanted. It's, it's not symmetrical, and it's driving me crazy. Okay, so we have that. Okay, so it was B. So it was symmetrical? It'll drive me crazy. So what I'm also going to do is I'm going to throw that same thing on over here. And... That way they're on both sides. Because you never know when that's going to be needed. Um, there we go. Alright, so... Next thing we need to do is put some road in here. And I'm going to use... The county roads. And we're going to start off with just this... We're going to start off with this guy. nice piece of road here and we're going to connect that up to over here so I'm starting off with the bigger roads anyway because eventually we'll get paved roads and I'm pushing the wrong buttons today should be this button got that selected so we want to come through here like this again trying not to spend all of our money building a road But also following, following the contours of the land. You know what I mean? And like right there, it was 41000 and instead we spent 20000 just by building it slower. So, okay. So we got that into here, and we're just going to start off by running our train track this direction. So I'm going to come off to the right here, over the hill, across the river, and hopefully into the Corona Station. Uh, I think I'm going to try to come in like this and split these guys going this direction. That way it's a good run-up to it, is my thought. Um, also, we'll need to make sure we connect that depot. And I probably have said this before in one of the videos, but one of my goals is to... Okay, so if we keep that on the flat. Okay, let's keep it on the flat for right now. Because, I'm saying that because... I need to do this. I need to put in a crossover track here. So now, we're going to start with the outside, and we're going to stay, we're going to fall, and we're going to have it start. This is going to be a large uphill battle here. 
I guess you know. I'm I'm thinking. So the nice part about this is is that I can just I can redo what I was thinking. I think I need to just let it start coming uphill. That's what I need to let it start doing. Because if I don't, we could run. I think we could potentially run into issues. much curvature. There we go. Okay, so now start with the outside track. We're going to make our way to this point, like right there. Let's see if we can find a tree to aim at. So we're going to aim at like this tree up here. Yeah, see how that was a lot better about going uphill. Than the other was. Sort of keep going uphill. Again, don't stretch it too far. Because at some point this hill is going to crest and we're going to start going back down the other side. Yeah, see, we're starting to crest. Drive these trains off. The edge of the map, that'll be fine. I'm actually going to make this start coming downhill. A notch. Okay, keep it coming downhill till we get to... Just basically we need to go straight from here. So keep her going. A little bit longer run. Oh, well, no. Yes, we'll fix that eventually. So I'm trying to avoid like the deep gouge in the in the earth because the deep gouges will cost us more money. Come that way just a hair. Cameras are very touchy in this game. Very touchy. I know this is the most uh, interesting part of this game is me building, building all these tracks. Because we're going to come to the right side of that guy right there. I mean, we've been going downhill for quite a long time. I didn't realize how long this run was. So 
let's do this. Let's build our bridge here. What kind of, what do we got? We're going to go with that. Okay. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. If we went... Mm-hmm. What if we go back down? Right there. All right. Wow. Mm. I think we should back this up just a hair. And then go like this. I, mm, no. Yeah, see how that was like 80 grand? that significantly less okay then we're gonna come we're gonna aim for I don't know that signal right there I'm trying to do the math in my head, the the angle math of how... Okay, so what I think we're going to do is... I'm going to stop that. I'm going to come up here, and I'm going to... I'd love to bring it in this way. Well, I can't do that. Like, it's got to go in this direction. Question is... I think it's got to go like this. Like this. Make sure that looks good. I think it does. Alright, so it's going to come in like that. And that, we do have a crossover track there. Okay, good. And so our bridge is right here. So we can theoretically just go that direction. And we're going to go the outside track, because that's the one we did. I always wonder when I'm building these tracks and in the back of my head, I'm like, I wonder how it would have been back when they were actually building like all these railroad tracks across the U S and thinking about like the engineering and the land. What is that? The, uh, the, the land surveying they did to get the tracks in the right spot. And, you know, cause it's not like today where you've got like GPS and, Things like that. It was more of a, I don't know, I feel like a manual process to get, you know, like you're building a, a tunnel through a mountain, right? And the, you have to get it just right for them to connect at the other end. I feel like today it's a little bit easier because you have... GPS that you could use to do all of that. Back then, they wouldn't have had all that GPS to do all that stuff. So... And we will connect up all these rails then. And see, we're still making money. So that's good news. We're also still on June 30th of 2000 or 1901. I think let's uh let's unpause a, just a little bit. Maybe we'll go up to we'll just let it unpause for a couple episodes. To 
see what we get into, right? So my thinking here is I was in, in my head while I was building this bridge, I was thinking, do I want to, and yes, I'm going to, I'm just going to build the, the span across because eventually we're going to need it. So we might as well build it. And if we build it now, cause we're not hurting for money. So we can afford to build the bridge across right now. There was a point, I think a couple episodes ago where we couldn't, we couldn't really afford to build the extra hundred thousand dollars across the, the river as much as we can now. And I mean, I was looking at the finances and we still have our loan, like our original loan. And I think the goal is going to be to eventually, I mean, obviously the goal is to pay that off. Uh, the question is, it's not costing us an extreme large amount of money per year. I might be on the wrong side here. Am I? Uh, no. Sheesh. Thought I was. Anyway, it's not costing us a lot of money per year for the loan, but it's still costing us money, which is somewhere in one of these menus is tells me, oh yeah, it's over here. So it's costing us 24000 a year. So obviously our our goal is to pay that off. So, okay. We've got this. And our first order of business now, well, we got, another, we got a couple ones. So now we have to put in the truck stop. And I think we're going to start off by, we're not going to put in a huge one because it's only bringing one thing to one spot, you know what I mean? So we're going to we're going to start right here. Because we're only delivering con mat to here, which is going to take it over to there. So, all right. So we need to get in a new line, and that's going to be from here to here. And we got to come up with oh, I'm trying to think of a good thing because it's gonna. This is the first cargo line. Let's see. Main hub, Toledo, on mat, because we're shipping con mat out of Toledo. Main hub, Toledo, con mat. Shipping. Okay, that's it right there. And then our next new line will be from here to here. This is going to be main hub Toledo. Toledo con mat delivery. Okay. That is good to go. We have our thing right here. We'll buy some vehiculars. We're going to buy that guy. We're going to do six of them. And we're going to put them on the main hub Toledo con mat shipping. Then we're going to do this. 
select terminals, that's on terminal one. We're gonna configure this and we're going to guy manage line and what if we did what is that at full load so then it's going to wait because we want them to wait it also is not going to wait very long so we need to do this minimum stop time for right now. We're going to do that and then something like that. So y'all remind me that I did that because <laughs> that'll become important. So we now need a new train, which is going to be the expensive part of this. So I think 177. So let's start off by adding a general. What's the how much is this guy? That's like half our money. Attractive effort is 15,000. 8,000. So let's do this and I'm only going to add in Cargo. No, I thought this was an older boxcar that hadn't come, or a new, a newer than what we are that hadn't come out yet. I thought it was like in 1905. Well, that's Conmat right there. 203, 560. This holds seven. This holds 12. I might go with the, okay, so let's see. So I'm gonna go capacity 28 for right now, I think. Okay. So this should get us, yeah, this should be good. All right, so we're going to start with that. Now the last thing we're going to do is we're going to put signals in because we need them. So I'm going to put down one of these. This is one way, yes. So let's put down one of these guys because I want to see what this guy looks like because I think this is a US-based signal. I don't know. That also looks like a US based signal. This does not. That looks more like European. It does. So we're going to go with these. Right there. Right there. Get a signal there, signal there. I honestly don't know how big this map is because I know like the the maps in this game have a certain size and I don't know what the length of it is like the square miles or the square meters. We don't necessarily want these trains stopping and starting on this hill but there's only one so. And then we need a signal right there. Okay, well, 
Let's check our con mat delivery. Okay, well, it's starting to ship. Four of six. So they'll peace out in just a moment. Speed this bad boy up a little bit. Are they all filling up or are they all just chilling? Just wondered. Alright, he's on his way. Uh, what are the other things? Let's go over there and find our train. Well, there's our train. Okay, so one of the other things I wanted to do was, this is going to be, let's check to see which platform that's coming in on. Okay, so it's coming in on the correct platform. That's the one we want it on. And I think what I want to do is, for right now, manage line. And I'm also going to do the same thing here, where we're coming into Toledo. And... Full load, our minimum wait time is going to be three minutes. And then our maximum wait time is going to be seven minutes on this. I'm doing that because I want some of these trucks to come and drop off their stuff. At least try to give us a little bit of a profit before it goes back the other direction. So that's the idea of that. But... Oh, look at that. Would you look at that? I could do this. And then this. And then I can do that. It's the general. I still haven't given our company a name, which I figured out that I could do, I think. Probably. I don't know. Which is somewhere there's a place to name your company. Oh, yeah, we definitely need to rename this to something else. More freedom transportation. Hell yeah, brother. All right, well... We have our train going. We've got all the stuff going right now. And we're heading towards the first load at Toledo. The first official train line on the cargo hub. The actual cargo part of the cargo hub. I know we have, we already have uh, the passenger line going. So... This is our first official train line here on the Cargo Hub. And the next episode will bring... What we're going to be trying to do is... I, let me see where our... Here's our bread plant where we're taking most of our bread. So if we want to get to that bread plant with the cargo line, we're going to have to come out of Corona across the road over towards here, which... Our next station could be somewhere in this area, if we look at our map. So, like, our station could be in this general region where we could start bringing in all of this 
we can truck it down to our Toledo station and then truck it up to Victorville. Because I think that is the closest place with a food plant, bread, food, whatever, food processing. So through Corona into here, but we would have to truck all of that into the Toledo train station and then start the process of taking that up to here. And then we can also... Well, I'm thinking about lots of things while I'm saying that. So I think we have two options for next episode. We'll either be dealing with all three of these and then getting them into Victorville, the new of a new Victorville station, or which may also be a possibility, we'll be extending our passenger line from Elgin to Stockton, which I think that might be the way to go because that's guaranteed money guaranteed money we also have the option of well also mm, also an option but we would definitely have to have the cargo hub line go from corona to we have some options basically what i'm saying so i think what we'll be doing next time is the elgin to stockton passenger service and so we'll extend that line between all four of these cities. And then that way we can also add an additional train onto this line. And I think we'll get to the point where we need to have as many trains as we need to have. You know what I mean? So um, maybe it's four cities and then we do another four cities. And then we have one giant passenger station in, say... Stockton up here so like we could have our a giant passenger station in Stockton which c then connects Carlsbad, McKinney, Hollywood and Albuquerque those four cities anything up here orange so well it would be McKinney, Albuquerque, Carlsbad and Stockton that line would then connect to Stockton and Stockton would have a little bit bigger train station. And then the same in McKinney where it would have a little bit bigger train station and it would connect to McKinney, Hollywood, Orange and Fort Lauderdale. So those four would connect over to here and these four would connect those three would connect to Stockton. So then you have a bigger station in the middle. So then we have one, two, three, four. So, Corona would then connect up to, like, I don't know, <laughs> I don't know, something. Anyway, so we have a, we have a lot of stuff that we can be doing. That's basically what the the name of the game is. Is that there's a lot of stuff that we can be doing, and the next step will be getting our passenger service into Stockton, and then we'll be continuing from there to the next place. So. But hey, that's going to do it for this episode of the Cargo Hub as we see our first cargo train coming in here to Toledo. And I appreciate you coming and hanging out and working through this adventure with me. And again, this is a 10-episode season. It's not a 10-episode series. It's just a 10-episode season because we have a lot to do and it's going to be a multi-part or multi-season kind of deal so we're just getting to the tip of the iceberg we're just we're just at the tip the tip is the only yeah there's a tip or something there anyway hey we'll see you next time here in the cargo hub again i really appreciate you coming and hanging out and until next time you know do all those youtube clicky things and until next time take care